Having a great looking email signature is absolutely essential. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways on how you can create a signature in Gmail. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, and I am excited to share with you three different ways on how you can customize your signature within Gmail. So let's start off with the basics. First, let's make sure you know where to go to change or edit your email signature. In order to do so, you're going to want to select the settings icon here and then select settings one more time. And on the very first tab that you see, the general tab, we want to scroll down near the bottom and you will see a signature area. Now you've got two choices, either no signature, that means that there will be nothing appended to your messages, or you can choose to have have a signature and what you're seeing here is that you can actually have more than one email signatures in this particular example I am using two different Gmail accounts I'm using Gmail forwarding so I can send as either of these accounts and I can have two different signatures or even more signatures if need be but let's take a look at how we can change this very uh, bland looking signature down below. It can be so much more than simply your name and a tagline. Number one, don't forget to include some links such as an email address. I'm just going to add a simple fake email address here. Now, in order to add a link within your email address and to change formatting, you're going to want to use this editor up above. Now, first things first is you need to select what you want to make linkable. In this case, I'm selecting this email address and then I'm gonna select the link icon here. Now, this is a clickable email address and if I wanna add a website or some other thing that is clickable, I can do so as well. Let's see how we can add a picture to maybe spruce up this email signature as well. I'm gonna place the cursor near the top of the box and in this case, all you need to do is select insert image. This will allow you to insert an image of yourself or maybe a logo, whatever you would like to add to this signature as well. Now you can continue on and adding social media icons, you can add other clickable banners to this email signature. The one thing you want to keep in mind within Gmail, no matter what you do with your signature here, be sure to scroll down to the bottom and hit save changes. If you don't hit save changes, all this work that you've done up above is going to go away. So make sure you hit save changes and then you'll be able to use that email signature. But would you like to spruce up your email signature a little more than just what you've seen there? Well, I'm going to give you a second method. If you'd like to add even more custom options and flexibility to your email signature, I recommend creating it in Google Docs. Yes, you can create your email signature in Google Docs and then copy and paste it back into Gmail. And it will be saved as your email signature in the very same place that we just saw. Now, the first thing I'm gonna encourage you to do is actually to insert a table. And you might be interested to know why I suggest that. I'm gonna insert a simple two by two table here. And the reason being is that many email signatures start with an image, perhaps an image of yourself, and maybe you'd like to add other factors as well. Something that you can't do very easily in the standard Gmail signature window is to create this type of layout. And maybe you want something even more complex than what I'm gonna show you right here. So let's start out in this very first, in the top left-hand corner of my table, I'm gonna insert an image. So I'm going to upload something from my computer, and since this is going to be my, uh, my own email signature, let's start with a picture of myself. Now, that's a little too big. No problem. I can just drag the corner here and adjust the size of it, just like, uh, like about that. Now, I can click and drag my table. I'm going to go over like this because in this next area, this next portion of my table, I'm going to add things like my name. Right, and then I can add my phone number if I want. I can add whatever other details I want in this area here. Now, down below, I can customize further parts of my signature. So let's say, for example, I want to add a banner, for example. Maybe I want another image here. So in this case, once again, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna upload an image from my computer. Let me go find, I think it's under email 
templates. There we go. Here's a banner that I've created previously. Again, that's a little too big for me, so I'm going to reduce the size of it just like that. Now, because I want people to click on this, all I need to do is right click on it and I can insert a link. And whatever I type in here, whatever I type in this link um, field here, whenever someone clicks on that, whenever they receive my email, and this is going to be my signature, they'll be able to go directly to that particular link. Now, at this point, you're probably saying, well, wait a minute, Scott, I don't want an email signature that has black lines around it. Well, not a problem. If we go up to formatting here, actually, let me make sure my cursor is within the table. If we go back into formatting and I select table, come all the way down to table properties, I'm going to say I want to make the table border white. And I'm going to say OK. And now, essentially, it's invisible. Now, all I need to do is copy copy everything that I see here and then paste it back into my email signature. So if I go back into settings, all I need to do is go back and paste it in this box that we saw before. But if this seems like a lot of work, aligning everything and adding links to images, I've got even one more better way of creating your signature. If you want a professional looking email signature and be able to create it in a matter of minutes, I recommend using a tool such as New Old Stamp. Here you can see an example which I've created in literally two minutes time. And the great thing about a tool like New Old Stamp is it comes preloaded with a number of templates. So I can quickly change the layout in a simple click. The other great thing is that I can just fill in these areas. You see it already has placeholders for things like name, company, telephone. And so it's already making these things linkable such as this email address and these social media icons so that they go directly to my own personal social media accounts. Even other options, you see the image here of my face. Maybe I want something more uh, square-like. Maybe I want some rounded corners. I can easily adjust the size of it if I want. And it even comes with some of these preloaded banners and special buttons such as finding me on Facebook or if you want it to link to other areas of your website, you can do so as well. Now, how do you install or apply this type of email signature? Well, once you're happy with what you've got here, simply select Save and install and new old stamp gives you two convenient options. You can either install directly with your Google account or you can select this option, copy and proceed. And then all we need to do is paste, paste this signature into the box which I showed you previously. Now, if you'd like to learn more about New Old Stamp and try their free email signature generator, I'd encourage you to check the link in the description below. So there you have it, three different ways on how you can create a great looking email signature within Gmail. Which one is your favorite? And I'd love to know, what are some of the pieces of information that you think are essential in an email signature? Thank you so much for watching. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.